hard A. My body is comprised of 75% hard cocaine. And uh, this is my show. I'm a reviewer. I'm a connoisseur of many things. Food, media, drainage pipes, uh, uh, Jordans, people called Jordan, Michael Jordan. Uh, did you know that he played baseball in that Looney Tunes movie? This is Snackintosh Plus. Today on the very first special episode of Snack and Tosh Plus, we'll be going into burrito places. More specifically, burrito places in the surrounding Cork City area. I'll be looking into whether they're ripping you off as well with their f***ing worm food. If they put any worms in their food, I'll let you know, because I f***ing hate worms. Some places actually put worms in the goddamn food. So now, let's go to our first location with a sweet Snack and Tosh transition. Okay, first off is Amigos on Washington Street. Now, there, there isn't really anything too spectacular about this place. Uh, one thing you'll notice, it's definitely a Mexican aesthetic. They weren't jerking you around with the, this is a burrito bar, okay? There wasn't anything great, but there wasn't anything terrible either. I mean, I'll throw up the ingredients about the burrito right here, what I have in it. It tasted all right. I mean, they, they didn't get anything wrong. They didn't, they didn't get anything overly right, but the presentation was a bit off. It's kind of falling apart at the ass end. I mean, look at that. Just, ugh. Next up is Boojum on Winter Street. It's a popular chain of burrito bars in Dublin, and now there's one in Cork. Presentation's quite nice to give it a little sticker. I give it a smell test here and slap it here, and it's a nice, lovely little bottom. But for the taste. This is about 75% Uncle Ben's microwave rice and 25% unseasoned meat. I mean, look at this shit. It was just a poor effort all around, and my cameraman didn't quite believe me, so he has a bite, but he forgot he's a celiac, and he goes into cardiac arrest. Yeah, it was just a poor effort all around. I mean, it's a classic case of putting the meat to one side and just stuffing it with just a load of rice just to save you time and money. I don't recommend it at all. It was a poor effort all around. Next up is Burrito and Blues on Paul Street. There was a long ass queue, and that's not the kind of ass that I like. It was blue, as advertised, and it was the best burrito by far. There's no complaints for me. Night and day compared to Bukum, great proportions, the hottest salsa, and I give it a happy boy. Next up is Zambrero on Dennehy's Cross. One thing I will say going into this place is it's very pretty. It's also the most spacious burrito bar that we've been to. They got nice screens out in the background. Other than that, the, the burrito itself didn't really leave uh, a lot to be desired. The foil on the burrito was nice. I mean, they had Zambrero like written all over the bloody thing. But yeah, it was, I would say it is the smallest burrito we had. It looked uglier than it tasted. There was a lot of kind of lime flavor going on with the rice and the chicken. But other than that, nothing special. Next up, we do have a special burrito, a secret burrito on our journey. Last but not least, we headed to Centra to see what they had to offer. They had it wrapped in a neat little bag. And as I was walking on by, I decided, hey, I'm gonna sink my teeth into this juicy boy. I got some sh so what do you have to say about our Snack and Tosh Plus burrito experience? Well, I'll give you my rankings for all, all of the burrito places we visited. Uh, in dead f***ing last is Boojum with their piss poor proportions, their Uncle Ben's rice, and their un- seasoned meat and I spent nine euro on it. A complete fing rip out. It didn't have worms though. In third place I'll give it to Zambrero, simply because they weren't nearly as bad as Boojum, but they weren't as good as the other two on my list. It, it was just pretty standard. Uh, nothing really stood out. Uh, the, the, the one thing that just stood out is the decor. There's way more seats in that place than there is anywhere else. And it's, it's, it's lovely to look at. In second place is Amigos. Good bang for your buck, you get a burrito, 
you get tea chips, you get a can of coke or a bottle of water, whatever the hell you need, six euro. You won't find that anywhere else. And first place is definitely Burritos and Blues. Simply best all the way around. They have uh, a good combo of half chicken, half steak. It's seasoned unbelievably well. The steak is juicy as f boy. And uh, yeah, they do their proportions right. Take note. Oh, and I know what you're wondering. Where's the where's the secret special burrito from our our, our, our lovely friends at Centro? Uh, f off. No. That was the closest to worm food we had. So what's the lesson that could be taken away from here today? Is it which burrito is best? No, I think it's something much more. I think it's what's inside the burrito that counts. And it's inside you that counts. Okay, you're fucking beautiful. Don't let people tread on you. Don't let people crush your dreams. All right, it's a fucking jungle out there. You gotta find the right person for you. You gotta find the person who will warm you up at night, like the burrito. The burrito that will warm your loins right up until midnight, okay? Till you fall asleep quietly and then pass away, okay? You know what? Fuck burritos, okay? And fuck cancer, all right? Like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that bell, you greedy bitch.